So the all-star starters for 2020 have been announced guys the NBA 2020 all-star game We're about a few weeks away and usually around this time late January the starters are announced And then this upcoming week the whole team is gonna be announced the reserves All right, so for today's video I thought we do the all-star starters team All right, there's gonna be five starters on each conference It's five for each conference the West and the East so that makes up ten players And that's gonna be the ten players for today's squad builder all right and as per usual, when these kind of things get announced, social media blows up, everybody debating and arguing whether or not a player deserves to be a starter or if someone got snubbed, whatever the case may be, man. There's going to be people talking. It's a very controversial topic indeed. So as we introduce all 10 of these players individually, I want you all to comment down below your thoughts, man. What players got snubbed, if a certain player deserves to be a starter over another player. But you know what, guys, as always, subscribe for new. Drop a like on the video, man. Let's try to get this video to 120 likes. Last few videos, man, y'all been killing it on the likes. Y'all have been able to reach the like goals pretty consistently. So I expect no different for today's video, man. Check out all the links in the description and let's introduce the team. First player we're going to introduce, guys, is a point guard from the East, one of the guard starters from the Eastern Conference, Trey Young. That's right, man. Second year in the league at the age of what? He's like 21, I think. Trey Young is indeed an all star starter, averaging 29 points, 4.6 rebounds, nearly 9 assists per game, man. 44% from the field, 37% from the three point line. Now, there's no question this player right here being announced as a starter is probably the most controversial out of all 10 players. Reason being is because this team is indeed last place in the NBA or actually second to last place I believe but last place in the East so uh, people are kind of getting mad on social media why is he an all-star if his team is buns now in my opinion I think him being an all-star is absolutely deserved now maybe he shouldn't have been a starter I mean that's up for debate but he's definitely an all-star man look at his numbers 29 points per game if you look at some of these Hawks games he is absolutely carrying that team and being an all-star starter I think I think he deserves it let me know in the comments man and once again let me know in the comments what you think now introducing the first player the first guard from the western conference luka Doncic, just like trey young his second year in the league already an all-star averaging 29 points 9.6 rebounds nine assists per game he has a bunch of triple doubles already this season i mean this right here is no question undoubtedly should be an all-star starter Luka Doncic I don't think there's any other guard that's playing as well as Luka right now so this is not even up for debate man dude is absolutely having a great sophomore season the next guard from the Eastern Conference that is an all-star starter playing next to Trey Young is going to be Kemba Walker of the Boston Celtics being that the Celtics right now are the number two seed I believe they have been winning quite consistently throughout the whole season and Kemba Walker is definitely the leading he's definitely the leading man in Boston 22 points five assists per game and has been nothing short of an all-star this year he's clutch he's a really good leader and the Boston Celtics are seeing the results they signed up for and just like Luka Doncic starting next to him is gonna be James Harden there is no two guards in the West playing better than Harden and Doncic so that is absolutely 100% correct the fans voting and the coaches voting they got that absolutely on point harder than Doncic but James Harden man 36 points 6 rebounds 7 assists per game now some people will get on his game some people will criticize him because he does take a lot of shots he misses a lot of shots there's games <laughs> I actually saw this uh one one meme on Twitter where his three-point shooting charts were actually looking like tour dates. That was hilarious right there, man. So yeah, James Harden's gonna have a few bad games. But overall, man, I mean, is it, a, is it even a question that this guy's an all-star starter? I don't think so. Now, the first front court player we're gonna introduce from the Eastern Conference is Pascal Siakam, first time all-star, and this one is definitely absolutely well-deserved. 23 points per game, 7.6 rebounds, three and a half assists. Some might, some might even say he might be a candidate for most improved player again. A lot of injuries have happened in Toronto. Kyle Lowry missing some games, Marc Gasol, but Pascal Siakam, man, he has definitely kept that team on board. First front court player we're going to introduce from the Western Conference is the reigning finals MVP, Mr. Kawhi Leonard himself. Yes, he misses a lot of games. Yes, he doesn't play on back-to-backs, load management, all that stuff. But when he is on the court, I mean, no doubt about it, he's a top five player in the league, man. But some might even say top two. So uh, Kawhi Leonard, 27.7 rebounds, five assists per game. That's one area in his game that he's definitely improved is finding the open man more 
and so often. So Kawhi Leonard's definitely an all-star starter, man. Now, I'm not, you can't even argue this. You just can't. Or maybe you can argue it. I don't know, man. Let me know that. Let me know that in the comments. Our next frontcourt player from the Eastern Conference that made it to the all-star starters once again is Joel Embiid. Just like Kawhi Leonard, he's definitely missed some games. Uh, Joel Embiid's definitely one of those players you got to keep cautious during the regular season in terms of injuries. But just like Kawhi, when he's on the court, dude is absolutely, no doubtably, a top 10 player in the league. 23 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists per game. Now his numbers are down from previous years, but that's just because the Sixers are so deep. So you can't really knock Joel Embiid for uh, having declining stats. He should definitely be the starting center for the Eastern Conference. I don't think there's any other center in the league playing better than him in the East. Next frontcourt player starting at center for the Western Conference is Anthony Davis, the newly signed LA Laker. A big reason why the Lakers right now are the number one seed in the West and definitely one of the best teams in the NBA period. 26 points per game, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, and some might even say the leading candidate right now for Defensive Player of the Year, Anthony Davis, definitely deserves that spot. The last frontcourt player from the Eastern Conference, the captain. You guys know who it is, guys. It's Giannis Antetokounmpo, reigning MVP. And right now, it's looking like he's going to be a back-to-back -back MVP from how he's playing right now. 30 points per game, 13 rebounds. 5.6 assists, doing it on both ends of the floor, and leading the Milwaukee Bucks to the best record in the NBA. There's no doubt about it, right now Giannis Antetokounmpo is the best player in the East. Some might even say the best player in the entire NBA. Final player we're going to introduce, the final front frontcourt player from the Western Conference. Now I'm not sure if LeBron is the captain, I think he is, I, I think it might be Luka. But uh, LeBron James, I have to introduce him last because LeBron James, man, I think there's a 17th All-Star appearance, 25 points per game, 8 rebounds, 11 assists, looking as good as ever, yo, and definitely deserves to hold the spot as an All-Star starter. Like I said, if y'all have any thoughts on any of, the, any of these players, of any other players that got snubbed in your opinion, let me know down below in the comments. I want y'all to get interactive in the comments, and let's get into the gameplay. Guys, I spent a whole lot of MT for this squad, so uh, I'm really hoping we do get a victory today, yo. I mean, look at this squad. I got the best versions of each of these players. This squad right here, man, defensively is absolutely great. And then offensively, we got guys like Luka and James Harden and Trey Young to do the scoring load. Woo! It's gonna be fire, man. Let's get the win. Later that same evening. Yo, I ain't even gonna show you that first game I played. I, I did not realize 2K patched the game. And, and things are different, bruh, and I did not know. And things got out of hand, that's all I gotta say. And now I got paired up with this guy. Look at this guy's squad, are you kidding me? Well, I guess I gotta get ready to lose this game. My goodness, man. This guy got Galaxy Opal, Brandon Roy, and Galaxy Opal, Ray Allen. And y'all should not really expect to win, but you know, I'm gonna try my best, you know. I'm gonna try my best to compete with this guy. Clearly, this guy plays this game 24-7, you know what I mean? Harden, though, all the way to the basket. Okay, Harden. Get that board, get that board. Giannis with a board, go Giannis. I don't wanna... The key is not to turn the ball over, man. We gotta not turn the ball over. Harden with a shot. Okay, James, we're off to a good start. We gotta keep it up, though. Get that board, get that board. We get another stop. Here goes Joel Embiid. Here goes James Harden. Harden dunk it home. Okay, James. Another thing we gotta worry about is not letting Ray Allen get any open looks, man. We just can't. Luca gets a good look for three. That is the slowest release I've ever seen in my life. This guy's locking up defensively, it looks like. Luca though, gets a great... Look how slow, it's a good thing I green bean that because this game is lagging. Giannis Antetokounmpo gets a good look for three. Giannis, knock that down. Giannis, I need those, bro. You got a B plus three. How? What the? How on earth? He just pulled up casually and knocked it down? This guy's got cheat codes. Luca, all the way to the basket, though, giving it to Joel. Joel, mid-range shot. Oh, wow. I actually made an open shot. Look at that, guys. Oh wow, there we go. That is it so hard 2K. Back to Harden. Harden, easy shot. There we go. That is what I'm talking about, man. Reward me 2K. That board, Giannis. Get that board. This guy's taking some questionable shots. We gotta take advantage of that. Giannis. Oh, what a move by Giannis. Okay, Giannis. Bruh. And then he and then he passes it like a dummy. Timeout. Timeout. Oh, I get the steal back though. I get the steal. Go ahead, Harden. Give it to Embiid, who's cherry picking Embiid. There we go. We got the lead. I'm actually, I'm surprised we're actually up right now and keeping up. Here's Jefferson. He misses the layup. Go, go, go. You know what? We're getting lucky. He's missing some shots because right now, it is a low-scoring game. Siakam 
Goaltending, okay, you know what? I didn't even mean to shoot that, but I'll take the two points. Go, go, go. Trey Young is cherry picking. Here goes Trey Young. Trey Young to Kemba. What a pass by Trey Young. Oh, no! Oh, thank you. I don't know how he missed that first one, but I got the rebound, though. Go, Kemba, go, go. We're up four points. We can create some separation here. We really can. Here goes Kemba. Anthony Davis with an excellent pick and roll. Let's go! Trey Young asked for that screen. Trey Young, Trey Young. Here goes Trey Young. Trey Young, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis gets a good look. Let's go! Another three! Now we're making shots. This is what I'm talking about, 2K. Get that board. Get that board. We gotta stop. Give it to LeBron James. Give it to Mr. Bron Bron. Bron Bron. Oh! Missed opportunity, guys. Way too many missed opportunities. Here goes Kemba Walker, though, with an easy layup. Okay, Kemba. And look at that user steal. Y'all seen that user steal? LeBron. Oh, yeah! We have a pretty comfortable lead. LeBron James posting up Mr. Brandon Roy. You're just too big for him. You're just too big for him, and why? It's a comfortable lead, man. If I give up this lead, I don't even know what to say anymore. Here goes LeBron again. LeBron again. No way! Get that cheese out of here, bro. Get that cheese out of here. Give it to LeBron. Here goes LeBron to Anthony Davis. Beautiful stuff. We get another stop, man. We're actually getting stops today for some quite reason. Here goes Siakam. He, I turned the ball over. All right, I'm about to put my stars back in, man. I'm turning the ball over way too much here. All right, I put my stars back in, man. I just had to. I can't afford to lose this lead. Kawhi Leonard, please knock that down. I miss again. Harden with a tip, but, yo, know, this pink diamond Kawhi Leonard is absolutely, absolutely buns. <laughs> Let's put this away, all right? Let's put this away. No more bull crapping. No more bull crapping. Giannis to the basket. Dunk it. Joel with a rebound. Joel. Come on, give it to Giannis, behind the back, let's go, good hustle. Here goes Luka to Giannis, Luka back to Giannis, Giannis mid-range again, back-to-back -back green lights for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Luka, Luka, Luka all the way, Luka with a sweet finger roll, oh, we're keeping this lead. A few minutes later. All right, man, we're up 10 points, it's the fourth quarter. Just put it away, man. I cannot afford. If I lose this lead, I don't even know what to say anymore. Now I'm lagging. Of course I'm lagging. Of course. Of course I'm lagging. Yes. What great timing to give me the lag, 2K. Great timing. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe this. If I actually lose because of lag, I don't even know what to say anymore. Joel and B, great pass. Joel knocks it down, though. That's a big shot. It's a big shot. Come on, man. A couple more baskets, and we should be able to put it away. Giannis. Great screen by Kawhi. Yo, three and a half minutes left. Uh, we're getting a little worrisome here, man. It's only six points. I don't know what happened. Uh, there's a great pick and roll, though. Giannis, let me get to the line. Let me get to the line. Okay. Give it a Kawhi. Oh, no. No, it's a three. Bro, why did I... Why did I jinx myself? Why did I jinx myself, bro? We could do this, man. We can still win this game. I have faith. Kawhi has Brandon Roy on him. Post him up. Kawhi with a turnaround. Let's go, Kawhi. That's a big shot. Come on, Kawhi. Come on, Kawhi. Do your thing. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi gets to the line. That might do it, man. These two free throws might do it. Let's freaking go. That's clutch. I was making fun of Kawhi's card earlier because he was being buns, but he's come up with some big plays here, bro. And he knocks down both free throws. And we're about to end this game. We just beat a team with two Galaxy Opals. Pink Diamond Clay Thompson. Pink Diamond Giannis. Pink Diamond Rose. Get out my lobby, bruh. You deserve to lose. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how he miraculous, miraculously got that victory over this squad. Looks like he was going to be a good player, man. He's got all the great cards. He's got the spotlight rewards cards. All that good stuff. But it turns out to be... He was kind of buns. How how did he not beat me, bro? We shot 55% from the field. Uh, we only turned the ball over eight times, so that was huge. We didn't turn the ball over that much. Here's the stats right here. Giannis was a B, 16 and 7. Harden had 15. AD, 11 and 8 off the bench. And here's everybody right there. Drop a like on the video, man, if y'all want to see more All-Star related videos in the future. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.